So I've got a 2020 Nissan Rogue Sport here. I bought this for my wife and I about a year ago. And it is burning up oil like crazy. And I'm almost positive I already know what's causing it. But I want to do a couple of checks. So anytime that you're burning up oil, the first thing that you should check on is your PCV valve. That is going to be right here. Okay? You're going to look, you're going to be able to see that here a little bit better in a minute. But then after that, you need to start looking at things like head gaskets, valves, cracked heads. Okay. Oh God, I think this is a cracked head, but we're going to find out. Okay. So first things first, let's see how bad it is drinking up oil and it is drinking it up like crazy. And so this is something I definitely need to kind of uh, fix first chance I get so it doesn't damage my catalytic converters because the more oil that goes through there, the less it's going to lessen the life of those. So we're going to end up taking, there's three bolts right here. one on the back. And right here on the back there's one more. And if you have one of these vehicles you'll easily see it. So there's a little rubber stopper that's kind of like right there. Right here you're going to end up seeing that we have a clamp and we have one back here. And what we want to do is squeeze it out. off and that little rubber boot holds this on okay. let me move this so I can kind of show you what I'm doing I want to look inside here do I see any oil or anything because that could be a sign of um, oil being circulated through the intake and we don't really want that and I'm seeing dry, 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 which is good, but it's also scary for me. So our PCV valve is right here, okay? It's right there. You can pull this hose off, and then that can just screw right out. And I've replaced that already, and it looks like this. And I replaced it already because it really wasn't shaking the way that it should, even though I cleaned it out. And that was wishful thinking because that did not really help me. Right here we've got our ignition coils and the way that we pop these off is you're going to end up pushing down until you hear a click on the connector. Right there and pull back. Push back till you hear a click, pull back. Click, pull back. Click, come on now. Pull back. Now we have four bolts. So here's our ignition coils. Okay. And uh, it's usually it's good practice to keep them in the same order that you take them out in. But the computer really does compensate. And um, if they don't go back in the exact order, is it a horrible thing? Not really. But if one of your one of your um, ignition coils is about ready to go out, it might favor one. Um, there's a lot of oil on that. There's a lot of oil on that. It might end up favoring um, one of the cylinders. Number three had oil on it. I don't like that. So let me move these so I don't drop them. These spark plugs are kind of a little bit of a strange size, 14 millimeter, but we're gonna come in right here. Now, I am changing these out because I know that they're fouled from all of the oil burning. And I'm losing power and gas mileage. 
with the price of gas right now, I can't afford that. Who could? So before I take these spark plugs out, when we end up taking the dipstick out, if it looks like there's mayonnaise on there instead of oil, that's a dead giveaway that you have a blown head gasket. You could have a cracked head, but it's more than likely a blown head gasket. And the antifreeze, the ethylene glycol, is getting mixed in with the oil and it's emulsifying and it turns into mayonnaise. When you take this off, you'll see the same thing here. It'll look like mayonnaise, okay? I don't see that. So that tells me, okay, if the head is blown, water's not leaking. So now what I want to do is I want to take out the spark plugs and I want to look at these and to see what kind of fouling I see. I see all sorts of oil and stuff on there but I also end up seeing this this white that has kind of corroded it. That could be a number of things. Okay. Generally when that ends up happening it's it's not heat fouled. When that happens it's, it's usually burning up something and in a um, an attempt to try to fix some things in this. It's, it was a cheat, you know, but um, I put inside there, I had put the sea foam, right? Because I'm thinking, well, maybe there's something in there that's kind of gummy and it's, it's not opening up the way that it should. That has to do with the PCB and maybe that would clean it, right? It didn't. So this has probably been burning some of that and that's why it ends up giving me that that white color okay that's more than likely what that's from also with the gas being the way that it is we've been buying it at the cheapest place we can find it and there's probably additives in it and that could be another thing look at that Look at that. That's missing. Okay. Well, that would explain why, why one of these, why the, the thing doesn't have any get up and go. Hopefully it didn't scar up the inside of that cylinder. And it was able to force it out of one of the valves. Yeah, see? Look at how bad that is. Gosh, you know, I, I just know I'm gonna have to take this head off. I just know I'm gonna have to. Whatever is gonna be the most inconvenient and expensive, that's what I'm gonna end up having to do. Okay. So I've looked at the spark plugs and I was looking to see if I could find any that were oil fouled. If all of them are oil fouled, well that tells me it is probably something with the PCV, right? Because it's going through the intake where all of them are getting it equally, okay? If I only see one of them, or maybe two of them, that's oil fouled, that tells me that the problem is more than likely a valve on that cylinder, a cracked, cracked head near that area, it could be a blown head gasket, but it's unlikely if it was on two, unless they were close together. On this, for the most part, they all look about the same. This one is slightly more oil fouled. So, now what I need to do is a compression check. Now, ordinarily, this is perfect for American-made cars. But this is not an American-made car. I have to have an adapter to this. Okay, in order for me to do this compression check. So we're gonna put that on there. And we're going to slip this in there in hopes we can get this to grab. I can't see this while I'm turning, turning the engine over. Okay, when you do this, you wanna make sure that you don't have any um, spark. Okay, 
Also, pull the fuse out of the fuel pump, okay? Because you don't want this thing to ignite during the time that we're doing it. So, that should all be taken care of. Right now, I want to see, and I'm going to have to review this video, okay? But I want to see how each one of these um, behaves, okay? Now, what I mean by that, let me move this. What I mean by that is this. If it goes weak, weak, strong, okay? If it goes weak, weak, strong, that's a piston. That, that's piston rings that are, that are uh, bad. Uh, weak, weak, strong, bad piston rings. If it goes weak, 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 and it keeps coming up, that's a sign of a cracked head, bad valve seals, right? Maybe a blown head gasket. And that's what I'm suspecting to see on this one. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the engine over and I'm going to let it turn over maybe seven times. And of course that thing would move so I can't see it. But we're at about 170 which isn't bad. I think on the next one I'm going to have to do something like that. 170, that's pretty good. Okay, so let's check the next one. It's a little bit lower, but not much. Not, like I said, I'm going to have to review this tape to see um, how it's behaving, how the gauge is behaving. And once again, seven times. Are you serious? There is no compression in that. There is no compression in that. That's also the cylinder. That's also the cylinder that had that missing piece um, of spark plug. Oh, that's bad, guys. That's bad, guys. That is bad. That could be valves. Could be it could be a cracked head. It could be um, blown head gasket. But that is bad. I didn't get to see it. Ooh, we're at 190. That one's good. All right, so what does this tell us? It tells us that I'm, I'm in trouble, man. That's what that tells us. So we could have something wrong with the valves on this particular um, cylinder. That's bad. After I review the um, the video, I will know because it'll tell me if it's piston or it's valve. I suspect it's a cracked head. That's honestly that's really what I think it is. Um, and if that's the case, I have to take a lot of stuff apart. But um, it's more than likely leaky valves, right? Um, the seal it could be the seal inside there that's causing it to not set quite right. Um, cracked head, blown head gasket. 
and I'm thinking that this is actually a cracked head. It could be a broken. It could be a broken valve, right? Um, oh man! All I know, that's not good, and I don't really have time to take this apart because I've got things I have to do tomorrow. This is depressing. So I'm going to go ahead and change out these spark plugs anyway. These usually come pre-gapped. Okay? So um, not like the old school days where you had to gap them yourself and everything. So I'm just going to trust the factory. I really thought it was going to be this cylinder, not that one. I really thought that. I can't believe that the um, spark plug broke in half like that. You know, often there's many signs. It's not just one that kind of point you in the direction of what the problem is. You'll see a number of things, generally speaking. But right now, with that compression being as low as it is, you know, I'm essentially running on three and a quarter cylinders, three and a half cylinders. That explains why I have a loss of power. You know, it, ex it explains a lot of stuff. My gas mileage not being so great anymore. I'm gonna put this guy back together. I'm gonna put a little bit of oil in it. When I have time, I'm gonna have to take this thing apart and see what the actual culprit is. Oh, mister, 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 why do you have to do that to me? It's like whatever is the most inconvenient that is what's going to be happening in my world anyway guys let's go ahead and start this guy up and then the next time you see me i will be fixing something with this head <laughs> 